On the heels of the city of Decatur getting slapped with a federal civil rights lawsuit for the death of Steve Perkins at the hands of police, we're on your side tonight learning how that lawsuit may play out. WFO 48's Daquan Lee joins us live from the steps of Decatur City Hall. Daquan, Steve Perkins' attorneys have now laid the foundation for what could be a long legal battle. It could be a long legal battle, Liz. In fact, I'm told this could be years in the making unless there's a settlement along the way. However, I'm also told that the bar for proving the city of Decatur and its officers violated Steve Perkins' civil rights is very high. Now, former U.S. Attorney Jay Town says the four officers at the heart of this lawsuit will have qualified immunity. The attorneys representing Steve Perkins will have to prove the officers not only violated his civil rights but acted outside the scope of their job to kill him. I asked if we could seek body camera footage as a result of the lawsuit, but Town says that decision will be in the hands of the city. Town says until evidence proves otherwise, he doesn't believe there's enough evidence for the lawsuit to stick. However, he does believe police officers should have more training to do their jobs. I just think that the, the training of officers has to be more than the, the academy and then once a year for a half an hour. Um, they need to be continually reminded uh, of their duties as officers, uh, and then and then whether they follow them or not will, will be up to those individual officers, but certainly the city and the PD can be compliant. Now, earlier today, I went inside the city hall behind me to request the personnel files of the four officers. And when we receive those personnel files, we'll provide you the latest information on their involvement in this entire situation. Reporting live from downtown Decatur, Daquan Lee, 48 on your side.